With the recent media frenzy about that Christmas song, Baby It's Cold Outside, for me, it really opened a can of worms. So let's start with music, shall we? Eminem has a song that's called Shake That Ass. I'm looking for a girl that will do whatever the f I say every day she be giving it up. I don't know what you think, but to me, this woman does not look very happy. In fact, she looks really scared. He said he wants us. Hope you don't mind. I told him you like it from. Isn't this another lovely visual? Just after calling her a slut, he turns into an animal and stares at her behind. Akon has a song that uh, repeats the words, smack that till you get sore. Just think of the implications that one sentence has. Dre and Snoop have a song that's called, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. One of Pitbull's songs says, face down, booty up. There's even a song with Rick Ross in it that talks about date rape. Put Molly all in her champagne. Post Malone has many songs that glorify drug use. Hit her from the back, pulling on her tracks, and now she's screaming out, no more, that's what that means. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. I've been fucking hoes and popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. LA bitches always asking, where the coke at? Living like a rock star, smash out on a cop car. Because that's a great message. We should all smash out on cops' cars when we're having fun. The girls come easy and the drugs come cheap. We'll all stay skinny because we won't eat. Another great message. These songs are so obviously offensive, but yet no one's scrutinizing them. Did you know that the definition of subliminal messaging is actually just the repetition of the same idea? So if that is in fact the case, then hearing these songs over and over again will actually change a person's character. It's just science and it's, it's as simple as that. Let's move on to TV shows, shall we? Shows like Two and a Half Men and How I Met Your Mother both have characters in them that objectify women in pretty much every single episode. And other shows like Family Guy and American Dad constantly have discriminating and sexualized content. Along with other TV shows that showcase women in emotionally abusive and unhealthy relationships like Sex in the City, let's have a look at some advertisements that are unnecessarily sexualized People of all ages are exposed to this material every day. What has perfume got to do with half-naked women in sexual positions? Have a look at these two advertisements. I mean, they're just so inappropriate. One girl laying on the ground with a group of men surrounding her. Kids of all ages are exposed to these advertisements all day, every day. I don't think they should be allowed. Retribution, The Witcher and Assassins of Kings. They offer sexual favors as rewards and even show the acts on the screen. You've probably been on a date before where the guy expects something sexual because he's taking you out for dinner and maybe he's bought you something. This kind of sounds like the video game. How about magazines? Like Playboy, Penthouse and Hustler. They all have discriminatory, racist and disrespectful pictures and stories all the way through them. They even promote pedophilia. Yes, pedophilia. I know it's an uncomfortable subject to discuss, but we must. Look at these features that sexualize children. These girls here are from the age of 10 to 12 and they're featured in Playboy magazine. They also had cartoons explicitly showing pedophilia behavior like it's a comical thing. Here's a comic and she's on the phone to her friend saying, I'd love to come to the drive-ins, Tommy but dad has some extra household chores for me to do tonight. These next two comic strips are of Chester the Molester, which was an ongoing comical strip in Hustler. It portrayed a, a creepy old man with young women, young girls actually, and a lot of the time they were tied up and looking very scared. Is it any wonder that around the same time these magazines came out, sexual crimes started going up at an uncontrollable rate? While the can is still open, let's talk about pornography for a second. If you want, you can pause the screen and have a look at these statistics, but some of them are extremely shocking. Did you know that porn sites get seen more than Amazon, Netflix, and Twitter combined? The most common female role is a girl in her 20s portraying to be under age. Child pornography is the fastest growing online business in the world. If you are struggling with porn addiction, there is actually a lot of support out there. You know, like any addiction, we can overcome it if we have the right support. With all of this taken into account, how do we even have time to talk about a bloody Christmas song? Starting from today, don't watch this crap. 
Don't play those video games. Don't support these people and monitor what your children are watching. I was a victim of subliminal messaging and I didn't even know it was happening until it was too late. Like my page and we can fight this together. I don't really know how yet, but I do know that with numbers, everything is more powerful and I think we should try.